House of Squibb presents Academy Award. Tonight, John Garfield in Blood on the Sun. Every week, Squibb brings you Hollywood's finest. The great picture plays, the great actors and actresses, techniques and skills chosen from the honor roll of those who have won or been nominated for the famous Golden Oscar of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. For generations, the House of Squibb has been known for the high quality and unfailing dependability of its products, each the result of a never-ending quest for perfection. Today, the great family of Squibb products reflects the tremendous advance of science in its contribution to human health and well-being. The name Squibb stands for progress through research. Squibb is a name you can trust. Tonight, we bring you the thrilling picture, Blood on the Sun, which won two of the 1945 Academy Awards. As our star, you will hear John Garfield, who, as Best Supporting Actor of the Year, was nominated for the 1938 Academy Award. My name is Nick Condon. I uh, ran a newspaper for about two years in Japan. I left a short time before the So Sorry Boys decided they were in grave danger of attack by the dangerous Chinese and saved themselves from such a horrible fate by going in and slaughtering a few defenseless millions of men, women, and children. This is the story of why I left, how I left, and how I fought my fight against the sons of heaven before the thing really got popular. There he is. Old Nick. Um, hiya, boy. Hey, uh, they tell me you printed a little item in the rag. It'll probably land in a local pokey. Oh, hello. Ollie, skip me. I knew what I was doing. Those little brown rats are cooking up a war. Yeah, I, yeah, they sure are, pal, but oh, you, you just don't say so. Uh, here, there's uh, 200 bucks I owe you. I always pay my debts. Well, where did you get that dough? Ollie Miller hasn't had a buck since he's been out here. I, I came into it. Uh, Edith and I are sailing tonight on the Nagata Maru, first class. Well, where'd you get the money? Nicky, uh, take a tip from me, will you? Come on back to the States. This place is getting hotter than the inside of Fujiyama. There was blood on the streets this morning. So you're tied into something shady, huh? I ought to suck you. Me? Holly Miller? Don't, don't be silly. I... Come on down tonight, will you? 11 o'clock. Cabin 23, A-deck. I'll, I'll fill you full of champagne and tell you how much I love you. Man's best friend. <laughs> oh, you, you dog. Ollie, okay, I'll be there. But I sure don't get this. No part of it. Just a moment, please, Mr. Condon. Oh, hello, Shima. Still tailing me? You are going to America? Nope. Just going aboard the Nagata Maru here to say goodbye to some friends. See you boys later. Oh, stop, please. Hey, what is this? I am Fort Control Officer. Please answer a question. Sure, but uh, this hits a new low in stupidity, even for the Imperial Police. Now, I'd like to see Mr. Miller's stateroom. 23, any objections? Sorry, it is not permitted tonight. Mr. and Mrs. Miller have not arrived. I'll wait on deck. Stop that man! I can't. These passengers are in the way. You fool! The police will deal with you. Follow him! Three passengers loaded with luggage came up the gangway. I got them between me and the Jap police. Then I tore up the deck of the boat. Suddenly, I, I felt myself tightening inside. Something was wrong, but very wrong. 
I got the cabin 23. I was about to knock. I thought better of it. I turned the knob. Something was wrong, all right. The room was a shambles. Edith Miller lay dead on the bed, her throat turning black. Flowers and champagne were all over the place. And blood. I ran for the door leading to the adjoining cabin. I opened the door just in time to see the figure of a woman trying to slip out. I got there in time to grab her arm. On the finger of her hand was a beautiful ruby. Then something hit my hand and I had to let go. I raced down the gangway. She was getting into a big car, but the thought police got in my way. So sorry. Regrettable, you refuse to believe police. Get out of my way, you dirty... No, you know truth has been told. You saw for yourself friends have not yet arrived. Is that so? Why, you grinning ape, you... I called the American Embassy. It was late. The voice answered the phone. Hello. Yes, this is the American Embassy. Oh, no, sorry, the ambassador is not in. Away for the weekend. Please call tomorrow for an appointment. I uh, went back to my apartment, and as I opened the door, I saw a lurching shadow. It was a man, and as I watched, he crashed through the glass and fell headlong into my living room. Ollie. Ollie. Ollie Miller. Mickey. I'd known they were going to get this tough about it. I'd have asked for more money. Here. Inside pocket. That's it. Take it, Nick. It's the Tanaka plan. Plan of invasion. Glad Edith got away. Tell her I'm sorry. I... Ollie. Ali. Oh. No use. He's dead. Police trailing Ali. The plan. I've got to hide it. Two pictures on the wall. President Hoover and Hirohito. That's the place. They'll never touch the picture of the emperor behind that picture. Good morning, Condon San. Very regrettable you had to spend night in jail. Yeah? Where's the phone? You're going to have to do some explaining, Oshima. My government doesn't like its nationals tossed into the jug without any charges. Japanese government would not do that to American, Condon-san. I will read the charges. Nicholas Condon, much esteemed editor of Tokyo Chronicle, found with two girls in his house. After drinking much wine and disturbing neighbors... Condon tries to overcome police, but friendly police prevail and put him to bed in local jail to protect him. So sorry, Condon's son. Stow it. You murdered two Americans last night, on the Nagamaru and the one in my house. Very serious charges. Result of too much wine drinking. Why, you Please, dirty... Please, do not resume disturbance. Understand you are judo artist, Condon San. Perhaps you honor me with the contest someday. Sure, sure. Maybe next time we can take uh, honorable coats off and uh, settle a few things with uh, honorable judo. Nick, Nick, for heaven's sake, what's this all about? I've been trying to run the paper for you, but everybody's got the jitters, wondering what's happened to you. Skip it, Sprague. I haven't got time to fill you in. Okay, okay. Now, what are you doing? Sprague, that Tanaka plan is gone from behind the Empress picture. Yeah? Then why are you going over to Tanaka's house? He sent for me, but you're going to Tanaka's house. You tell him where I'll be and... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute! The police didn't find that document. Oh, they must have. If they did, Tanaka wouldn't want to see me. Well, then how about the people who paid Ollie to get out of the country? Well, maybe, maybe. And maybe Tanaka figures I have it. Look, you've got to get out of this country, Nick. Well, there's still a law back home, Charlie. When somebody's murdered, somebody's got to hang for it. You'd better get over to the embassy. I'm going over to Tanaka's. <laughs> It is a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Condon. Uh, oh, yes, yes, Baron Tanaka, and your company, too, Colonel Tojo of the Imperial Army. Uh, Mr. Condon, the story you printed yesterday, charging various things, is in itself unimportant. These rumors of a document, 
which plans world conquest are ridiculous. But should the rumor be taken seriously by the wrong people, a blazing fire might be kindled which Japan would find costly to extinguish. I see. Uh, you want my newspaper to put on a fire prevention week campaign, is that it? No, Mr. Condon. Within the past 24 hours, we have discovered a plot to smuggle this forged document out of Japan. A man named Oliver Miller, a former reporter on your newspaper, is involved. Uh, we could recover the document from him by force, uh, if we chose. We would prefer that you uh, persuade him to return it to us. It seems you haven't heard, Baron, nor your secret police, that Mr. Miller and his wife were murdered last night. Uh, we read in the papers this morning about your, uh, your escapade last night, Mr. Condon. In your uh, incoherent condition, you uh, spoke of this unpleasant fantasy. As we were concerned with the fate of Mr. Miller, uh, even more than you, we immediately made inquiries. Uh, here, read this. A radiogram from the captain of the Nagata Maru, a most trustworthy gentleman. Yeah? In uh, answer to your inquiry regarding Mr. and Mrs. Oliver Miller, American citizens aboard the Nagata Maru, they are alive and in perfect health. Uh, isn't it uh, clear to you now? It's uh, very clear. And if you send Mr. Miller a radiogram, I'm sure he will uh, return the document to us through you. Everyone will be enormously relieved, and you will be uh, greatly profited. Yes, and we will all live to rough at this strange hallucination you experienced last night. Yeah, I, uh, I guess you're right. You uh, want this uh, forgery returned? Uh, yes. And uh, you'd pay plenty for it. Okay, here's my price. When the United States Embassy has been notified that the murderer of Oliver Miller and his wife, I mean the real murderer... Oshima, not a sacrificial monkey, has been brought to trial and convicted. Maybe then, what you're looking for will turn up. Hey, Sprague, there's Oshima. He's been on my tail all day. Yeah, yeah, they know you're leaving. You know, they might have plans for you like they did for Ollie. Yeah? The embassy is sending me back to Washington. They're expressing an interest in my safe departure. Now, finish your drink, go back to the office. I want a story in tomorrow's newspaper saying I'm sailing ten days on the President Wilson. Why the publicity? Well, the police didn't get that document. It must have been the people who want to get it out of Japan. If they know I'm leaving, they may try to get in touch with me. Okay, but don't look now. Here comes Cassell and that beautiful dame who's been staring at you all night. Beat it. Uh, may we join you, Condon? Looks as if every table's taken. Hello, Cassell. This is uh, Nick Condon, Iris. Miss Iris Hilliard. Just arrived from Shanghai. I'm Florence West. You staying here at the hotel? Yes. And Mr. Cassell must have had an ulterior motive in bringing you over to my table. <laughs> really? Uh, sure. No man in his right mind uh, would share your company, Miss Hilliard. <laughs> How is Shanghai these days? Oh, Shanghai is always gay. For everyone but the Chinese. You arrived last night? Yes. I was down to see some friends off last night on the Nagata Maru. You didn't arrive from Shanghai on it, did you? You're crushing my hand. Well, sorry, I, but I wanted to take the glove off. There. Satisfied? I'm sorry. I, I was looking for a ruby on that finger. And found a diamond. Don't you like diamonds, Mr. Condon? Look here, Condon. You have a reputation for bad manners, but this is going too far. Never mind. I wanted to meet Mr. Condon. Uh, telephone, Mr. Cassell. Oh, thank you. Now we can talk. I was asked by a friend to become acquainted with you. Very well acquainted. In Shanghai, we have a mutual friend. A very old man. Chan Puling. Chan Puling? Yeah. Wonderful old man. Well, you could learn more from him in a few hours than four years in college. Despite all his reverses, he still works for the Republic. As Sun Yat-sen wished it to be. So he asked you to look me up, huh? Yes. And become very well acquainted, huh? Yes. He certainly hasn't forgotten me. Oh, no. He remembers you very well as you were then. He hoped you hadn't changed. Uh, what does that mean? First, we'll become better acquainted. It was his desire. His desire became mine five minutes ago. Let's figure the best way we could go about this. About what? Becoming better acquainted in the shortest possible time. I'm leaving in ten days... Oh. oh, wait a minute. That's not so bad. Why don't we drink to them? To them? Yeah. 
to the ten days that shook the world. Squib Dental Cream is so brisk, so stimulating, so thorough in its aid to cleansing. It leaves you feeling fresh and assured. Use Squib Dental Cream morning and night. Use it before every engagement, whenever you want to look your best, feel your best, and make the best impression. For a breath of freshness in your smile, for better home dental care, remember the name Squib, Squib Dental Cream. You can taste, feel, and see the refreshing difference. Before continuing with part two of Blood on the Sun, we wish to thank William Cagney Productions for making this story available. And now, The House of Squibb presents part two of Academy Award, starring John Garfield in Blood on the Sun. I thought I was kidding when I said Iris and I were going to spend my last days shaking the world. But it was me that got shaken, and Iris did it. I fell for her with a bump that must have shaken Tojo's house. Must you go? Don't you still have work to do here? No. I was just thinking. I don't. We've talked a lot, but you still haven't said anything. What was the real reason Chang Pu Ling asked you to look me up? When we're better acquainted. Another thing. I, I, I asked you, and I told you I needed some dope on Gasell. You know him. What's he doing in Tokyo? Maybe. When we're better acquainted. Three days are gone and my boat sails in a week. We're getting nowhere too fast. I don't agree. Come here to me. Nick, what is it? It's, uh, it's time we got better acquainted. Yes. All right, Cassell, what's on your mind? Look, Nick, I'm in trouble. But I got an idea that'll work for both of us. You're in a worse spot than I am. They're not going to let you go out of the country alive. But they don't suspect me. Let me take the plan to China. Take what to China? The Tanaka plan. You've got it, Condon. Tanaka's already made you an offer, but you're holding out for more. I know. Come here, you rat. What else do you know? Plenty. Didn't I frame the introduction between you and Tanaka's dame? Don't I know she hasn't had any luck because you've been playing cagey? Who is Tanaka's dame? Iris. Okay, baby, start talking. You were on the Nagamaru that night. What if I was? You worked for Tanaka. No. That's a lie. May I say something? Plenty to the American ambassador. You're going to tell him how you killed Edith Miller. I didn't, I didn't. Come on, you killed him. The names, Hoshima and who else? I... Who? Before I make a mess here. What? What is your price for the document? There isn't enough money in Japan to buy that document. So what are you risking your life for? To protect people in China and America you don't even know? To save humanity? Come on, let's get to the embassy. Are you sure? You'd risk your life to protect the Tanaka plan? If you had it? Don't worry, I have it. No, you haven't, Nick. I have. You? I got it from behind the Emperor's picture when the police left. So, so this is it, huh? Yes, this is it. Memorial presented to His Imperial Majesty by Premier Tanaka, outlining the positive policy of Japan. This is a plan for world conquest beginning with China. This must be gotten to the League of Nations at Geneva. Well, how did you get mixed up in all this? It's my work. Big payoff, huh? Yes. Free China. Free China, huh? That's why I had to be so careful, Nick, before telling you. I had to be sure how you felt about it. And about you. Nick. Nick, you must go. And not see me again until I call you. Promise? Iris, I... I'll promise anything. Our lives are at stake now. <laughs> Nick, 
take his man to the trunks. Okay, Charlie. Well, four pieces. You count checks, please. Okay, okay, I believe you. Sorry, you must count. Oh, sure, sure. Sure. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Something's phony. He's gone. Look, look, there's another paper in among those checks from Iris. Where is she? It says wharf at foot of Haraboto Street. Iris. Where's she been? Hiding out, I guess. Tanaka's men took down our last conversation on a dictaphone. That's why the embassy is hustling me aboard an American ship, or was. What do you mean, was? Because I'm nuts about Iris. I'm nuts about America, China, and the whole free world. And I'm not letting any of them down. Tell the embassy Nick Condon saw his duty and he done it. Skip the gutter, Charlie, and burn little white papers for me, will you? They were waiting for me when I came out. Oshima and his grillers. But I gave him the slip somehow, and I eased my old jalopy down near the wharves. All I could see was a colony of houseboats and junks. An old woman came out of the dark, took my hand, and led me up a ladder across dirty decks. Then suddenly down into a stinking hole of a fishing smack. Right up in there. Nick, in here. Almost a week and not a word. Now, two hours before I leave, you send for me. I couldn't, Nick. They were following me. Oh, don't be angry. It's been unbelievably difficult. You could have found some way to let me know. No, I couldn't. Okay, now listen. I was followed when I left the house. I shook them off, but there isn't any spare time. You give me those papers for the league. Here they are. Darling. The fishing boats leave in a few minutes on the changing tide. One of them will take me out into the bay to a freighter. To Shanghai? Yes. Well, I I guess this is goodbye. It's, uh... It's tough trying to find words. Don't try, Nick. I know what's been troubling you. What I've been. What I am. I never ask any questions. I never even thought of them. Didn't you, Nick? I'll always remember that. What are you talking about? If a person is on the See, level that's and... that's it, Nick. No one has ever treated me as a person. It just wasn't time in my work for such niceties. But tomorrow, when China is free... The work is done. Did I ever say you're, uh, you're quite a dame? No, you didn't. I'll tell you all about it someday. Maybe in Shanghai. But I don't want to say goodbye, Nick. Not ever. Oshima. Oshima and the police. Found us. Police everywhere. Quick, back door, please. Oh, yes. Nick, you can't possibly get through to the embassy now. No, no, here, here. Take these. Go ahead. Get moving. No, no, not without you, Nick. Go on, I said. It's no. your job to get to the league now. No. Are you crazy? They'll be here in a minute. I can hold them long enough to get... Well, until you get to the fishing boat and get a good start. Now, go on. You take it along, no, will you? No, Nick. Go on. Nick. Now, come on, Oshima. <laughs> Condon son. I know you are in there. You do? Come and get me, Oshima. Oh, good. But the woman will not escape. There goes her boat, and my patrol is sinking it. Ha! Ah, boat is surrounded. You have no chance, Condon son. But I've waited long for this pleasure. What's on your small mind? You have shown great mastery at judo with my policeman. Perhaps you will honor me with a demonstration. It would be a pleasure. Good. We are in no hurry to get to police headquarters, are we, Condon San? They would not care to have me bring you in alive. It would be most embarrassing. So, as you say, we must play now for keeps. Shut up and move in. You are ready? Yeah. Ready. <clears throat> I must have been lucky, Condon San, to throw you so easily. Don't, don't let it, uh, don't let it go to your head. Uh, let's try it again, fat boy. Ah. <clears throat> Oshima, Oshima, you, you, you're, you're pretty good. I am honored. Can you get up? It will take one more fall, I think, to kill you. I shall make it a good one. Okay, okay, I'm, uh, I'm getting up. You are not a very pretty sight, Mr. Condon. But then... White men are not match for yellow men. Oh, no? Come on, monkey face. This time, this time we'll uh, try it my way. <laughs> How do you like them potatoes, bud? The old one, too. That's the way we used to do it in Hell's Kitchen. Now get up. Very good. You must show me that trick again. Come on in and take another lesson, huh? <laughs> and, uh, this is my Sunday one coming up. An old roundhouse, Oshima... 
This is going to look good on you. Oh! That did it, Oshima. But I... I can't let you lay there like that, reaching for, reaching for your gun. Hold it, bud. Oh, I'll ah! take it. Now, rat face, this gives me the greatest pleasure. Well, this is it, I guess. Three more shots Mr. left. Mr. Condon, Mr. Huh? Condon, this way. What? Hurry, into the boat this way. Yeah. We come back for you. Good fight, Condon, son. Korean like me must turn American way. Into boat, please. Yeah. Thanks. Are you all right? I... I guess so. I... Where are we? Safe. But I, uh... I thought you were on your way. So did Oshima's men. They followed and sank the wrong boat. And why did you come back? I don't like goodbyes. And besides... I love you, Nick. Oh, baby, baby... Up to now, it's been a wonderful war. Look, Nick. That way lies China. And in the blue haze which conceals her shores, there is a good omen for her future. Uh, It may take years and years, Iris. I can be patient. I know how to wait. Can you? Together, we can do anything. We'll wait and work. You and I, until the job is done, the breeze is quickening, and it is fair for China beyond the haze. Hollywood stars who must keep radiantly alive through a long day before the cameras have learned to seize even the slightest opportunity for quick refreshment. You have such an opportunity in the simple act of brushing your teeth when you brush them with refreshing Squib Dental Cream. For Squib Dental Cream is quick refreshment in a tube. You see, in making Squib Dental Cream, the House of Squib has done more than provide you with a completely safe and trustworthy dentifrice. It has also created one of the pleasantest, most exhilarating of all dentifrices. When you first taste the sparkling minty flavor of Squib Dental Cream, you get a hint of its quick refreshment. Then, as you brush, the brisk, tingling action wakes up your mouth, makes it feel fresh and young and clean. That's how Squib Dental Cream helps you to face your own daily audience with new poise and assurance. You've given your own charm the protection it deserves, the protection of pure, fragrant, Refreshing Squib Dental Cream. So, ask tomorrow for Squib Dental Cream. Taste, feel, and see the refreshing difference. Next Wednesday, another great picture. The House of Squib will present Academy Award with Charles Coburn and Virginia Mayo in The Devil and Miss Jones. John Garfield is soon to be seen in the Warner Brothers production, Nobody Lives Forever. This is Hugh Brundage bidding you good night until next Wednesday at the same time when you're invited to listen again to Academy Award presented by the House of Squibb, a name you can trust. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>